हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू एक्सोटिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड नाइस टू सी यू बैक सो टुडे समबडी हैड आस्क्ड मी अ क्वेश्चन व्हाट एक्चुअली द नाइन्थ हाउस रिप्रेजेंट्स एंड व्हाई इज इट कॉल्ड द हाउस ऑफ भाग्य एज वी नो इट इज नोन एज द भाग्य स्थान वेल वी विल सी व्हाट्स सो ग्रेट अबाउट दिस सो कॉल्ड हाउस ऑल राइट सो many people say that this is the house of fortune this is the house of luck this is the house of uh, everything which is good in life but let's see actually is it so okay or if it is actually like that in what sense is it all right so we will see the contradictory uh, some contradictory things which is there in the horoscope itself okay so there you go if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation and you want to know what the 9th house is going to do for you or what planets are there in your 9th house and how are they impacting you and your horoscope then you can please go to my website and you can book a personal one to one reading with me because i have to see the whole chart all right and before i begin because today is the 9th house so i must say that god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will hopefully find him <laughs> okay so Ninth house, as we know, is the house of our guru. As it's the house of our father. It is the house of God. But if you search in Google or if you see videos in astro about astrology in YouTube or you go to different forums or you attend conferences, big big astrology conferences, you will find that they will say, "Oh, ninth house is the house of luck. It's the house of fortune." But the question is, how do you define luck and fortune? that nobody tells so basically if you go by that definition the ninth house is the house of luck and fortune that means if there is a planet sitting in the ninth house or wherever the ninth lord is sitting if that house or that planet gets activated in the dasha which is time period of a planet then everything should be good in life right <laughs> or they say the ninth house is the house of luck luck means what by chance something happens yes that is what luck is in one sense so that means suppose i have venus placed in the ninth house and then my venus mahadasha starts so that means wherever i go and put a lottery i will win the lottery right because i will be lucky that's what is luck right no <laughs> confusing <laughs> and they say ninth house is the house of fortune well, how do you define fortune fortune means oh you are a billionaire well let me uh, let me revise the kal purush kundli if you check the second house which is actually the house of wealth from there the ninth house is eighth it is not well placed from the second house okay then which is the other house of belongings it is the fourth house fourth house is the house of property land vehicles happiness comfort home all the luxuries in life everything is under the fourth house even from the fourth house the ninth house is the sixth it is not a very great place from the fourth house then people see the tenth house because they say na you are uh, you uh, it's the house of fortune so you'll be like you'll have big name fame status right anything related to the ninth house they say like that but tenth house from there if you see the uh, ninth house is again not well placed it is placed 12th okay so in kaliuga basically what what is important in kaliuga basically primarily the people are after materialistic things so they want to accumulate money to buy property money is second house property is what property is the fourth house and then they want a big name fame status which is the 10th house so from the 10th house from these three houses the 9th house is not well placed so does it actually mean that we become a millionaire or a billionaire when uh, ninth house gets activated well if that would be the case then maybe we would have so many billionaires because so many people will have planets in the ninth house so many people will have planets placed which are conjunct the ruler of the ninth house okay so whenever we hear the terms from the scriptures we should understand the context in which it is said so ninth house is the house of bhagya basically bhagya is fortune it is luck but it is not referring to this materialistic mundane things now it also has a role to play there 
but if you want to know what actually bhagya is bhagya is basically when you are connected to bhagwan that is bhagya and that is what the guru does and that is why the father is considered to be the first guru because the father gives you knowledge about god that is his first prime duty yes that is what rishabh dev does in the shrimad bhagavatam he gives divine knowledge to all of his sons headed by bharat maharaj after whom the holy land of india is known so he does that and then we have our guru which is who is also represented by the ninth house so the ninth house has the responsibility to take us to god which means that whenever anything related to the ninth house gets activated it is a very powerful time that we connect ourselves to bhagwan because the word bhagya is actually linked with bhagwan but even then why do they say it is one of, it is perhaps the best house of the horoscope why do they say like that because not because you become a millionaire or you become the prime minister or you have a great uh, married life okay the ninth house has nothing to do with all these houses in fact it is very badly placed from the second fourth and the tenth house these three houses are not uh, in uh, good terms with the ninth house so basically then what why is the ninth house called uh, the house of luck uh, bhagya fortune this that all the big big terms are used for the ninth house because when you actually activate or when you actually understand what the ninth house is which is our divine connection to god when we understand that that is why it is also the house of higher philosophy yes many people take ninth house for phd for masters for what not other things that is fine there's no problem but uh, we should not uh, miss what actually the ninth house is the ninth house deals with our connection to god okay so basically the ninth house is called the house of luck fortune because when we develop that connection even if the other connections are not there in this world it doesn't affect us much it's not that it will not affect us but the effect will be much less and we will feel very fortunate because in the chaitanya charitamrit which is one of the very highly elevated books of spirituality it is said that brahmand bhramite kono bhagyavan jeev guru krishna prasade pai bhakti lata beech brahmand bhramite kono bhagyavan jeev that brahman means the entire universe bhramite means one who wanders people like you me and so many else <laughs> kono bhagyavan jeev that some fortunate rare soul guru krishna prasade pai bhakti lata beech that one gets the creeper of devotion surrender to god guru and krishna god and the guru are uh, they, they are having that responsibility that they can bless somebody some rare fortunate soul with with uh, with the interest in spirituality bhakti lata beach okay at least on a gross sense we can understand it like that so when we have the divine connection with god then all the other things of this material world they become insignificant you want any example take the example of yudhishthir maharaj is the best example you can have he was known as a raja rishi raja rishi means one who is like a rishi but he is ruling a kingdom so he had everything he was the undisputed emperor of the entire world he was the chakravarti samrat but he was not attached to anything why because he was attached to somebody else he was attached to lord krishna that is the reason that is the reason why he is known as a raja rishi and that is why he is considered to be the most fortunate yes we also have the example of arjuna all the pandavas in fact we have the example of draupadi who was humiliated in the assembly of the kurus but at the end lord krishna protected her honor and everybody knows how glorious how great she is then we have the example of kunti devi who had seen so much suffering in her life my god no other character in the mahabharat has seen the amount of suffering which kunti has seen when kunti was small she uh, she was gi- given to somebody else yes kunti bhoj that uh, that's not uh, they are not actually uh, 
we all know that story right when uh, kunti was very young then uh, she, i mean not young I, i mean she was a baby almost then her father gave her to somebody else because that person didn't have uh, children <laughs> so imagine your parents giving you to somebody else yes and then when she got married she could not have the association of her husband for very long yes pandu departed very soon after the marriage and then after that her sons my god always 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 under difficulty under conspiracy under threat by people like shakuni karana dushasana duryodhan after all <laughs> so much suffering she has seen her grandson abhimanyu was killed mercilessly yes and all the other five sons of the pandavas they were they were brutally killed by ashwatthama in the dead of the night so it's a miserable life she has had externally but even then she is there in the prayer in the pages of shrimad bhagavatam where she says namase purusham tadyam ishwaram prakrite param alaksham sarva bhutanam antar bahir avasthitam namase purusham tu adyam she is offering obeisances to the adi purush who is who is that adi purush lord krishna himself ishwara prakrite param you are the parameshwar of all the uh, creations alaksham sarva bhutanam antar bahir avasthitam you are inside and you are outside also antar bahir avasthitam <laughs> you are inside antar and bahira is outside yes and then so many shlokas are there in the shrimad bhagavatam where queen kunti's uh, prayers are uh, being uh, glorified and queen kunti's prayers are itself there in the shrimad bhagavatam so that's the greatness of god that's the greatness of the ninth house that it it gives us those things which no other house in the horoscope can give no other house in the horoscope has the power to give you that which the ninth house has the power to give all right so that's what actually is the meaning of the ninth house that is why they say it is the house of bhagya because when uh, you take the example of shabri in ramayan shabri she had nothing with herself but her guru the great matang rishi had once said to her that lord ram and lakshman vishnu himself they will be uh, vishnu will come to visit you and then you will have the responsibility to give them food yes and everybody used to tell shabri oh look your guru maharaj went back to the spiritual world he did not take you he just spoke a lie look nobody has come ever nobody is going to come it's all nonsense you are just wasting time that is what everybody used to say to shabri but shabri always had that word of her guru in her head that one day lord ram and lakshman will come and finally that very day came when lord ram and lakshman came and she used to decorate the uh, that path which is in front of her home every day she has done it for hundreds and thousands of years can you imagine nowadays people they will chant a mantra for one week and then they will say oh i have i have given up that mantra you know because i didn't see any results but shabri was doing this for hundreds and thousands of years but even then lord ram didn't come at the end he came of course <laughs> so we got to be patient so why what was there with shabri how was uh, how how was there so much happiness in her heart how because she was connected to the ninth house there you see because she had total faith in the words of the great sage matang rishi who was her who was her diksha guru who had initiated her and she was always remembering the uh, form of lord vishnu and she was totally engrossed in chanting the holy names of lord vishnu and that is why lord ram finally ultimately one day he appeared and he said to shabri that now itself here now <laughs> i will send you back to the spiritual world i will send you to vaikuntha my eternal abode and lord krishna says in the gita yad gatvana nivartante fill in the blanks tadham aparam mamma that one who reaches my abode does not return back to this material world all right 
and there are so many examples in the scriptures that people were paupers they were beggars but they were they were so happy inside vibhishan my god so happy always <laughs> he was threatened by ravana that i will kill you but then he went and took shelter of lord ram and his life became glorious so great he is my god can you imagine having a brother like ravana and then having the courage and courage to go and surrender to uh, his enemy can you imagine the level of faith with which vibhishan had in lord ram he knew that lord ram is nobody else he is vishnu himself so if i go and surrender to lord ram even ravana cannot do anything yes that is why he was all that is why he 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 is very famous he is always known one of the great uh, he is one of the great devotees of lord vishnu himself and then hanuman ji is also there hanuman ji look hanuman ji's case he totally exemplifies this see hanuman ji doesn't have money he second house he doesn't have a home which is fourth house he he, he is not having any post position 10th house but he is the most famous character in the ramayan yes after sita ram lakshman of course nobody is there like hanuman ji you see he is the perfect example who shows what is the ninth house so when we connect to the divine source then even if we do not have money or even if our marriage is not that great or even if we are not a billionaire the other day somebody asked me i have sent you my horoscope can you tell me if i will be a billionaire or mil- a millionaire well the problem is that person thinks that Uh, if you have a million dollars you will be very happy no trust me it doesn't happen there are many people who take consultations from me and then they tell me that oh i can pay you how much ever money you want i can pay you 10 times more the money which you have put in your website for your full consultation i can pay you that much amount but can you please give me happiness please tell me and then i am like no you don't have to pay me 10 times just pay me what is there in the website and i ensure you will uh, become happy if you do the mantras and if you do the remedies which i suggest you okay so uh, having a million dollars will not give you happiness it can give you pleasure of course yes you can have so many different things in this world which other people can't have but it can't give you happiness necessarily not always it can give you also if you are like yudhishthir maharaj but not necessarily always okay and then there are many people who say oh my marriage li- married married life is not good i am not able to get married uh, my husband doesn't listen to me my wife doesn't listen to me my children doesn't listen to me my father doesn't listen to me my wife and my mother is crying they are fighting and i am like a chutney i am like a sandwich between them i can't do anything you see <laughs> so all the problems of the world will vanish if the ninth house Uh, is understood and if we respect it and we honor it and we try to follow what the ninth house wants us to follow all right and then somebody will ask so how to do that how to follow what is there in the ninth house okay so irrespective of whichever planet is there wherever the ninth lord is sitting doesn't matter just follow spirituality for have a good lifestyle good means not good according to material standards but good means according to the scriptures then you will definitely have the ultimate fulfillment in life which the ninth house guarantees so how do you do that you have to ensure that you get up early in the morning and then once you get up early in the morning you take a nice bath in cold water because that will increase sattva guna in your body mode of goodness will increase and then you sit down facing the eastern direction and then you chant the mantras whichever mantras your guru has suggested you please chant that if you are not having any mantra if you are not having diksha then you can chant vishnu mantras and after that make sure you read the scriptures at least half an hour every day in the morning okay because morning time is very important because that is the time when sun is very strong it's very powerful so our ability to seek enlightenment is very strong in the morning okay and then we can hear lectures of our gurus of our preceptors whoever has cultivated a uh, spiritual knowledge inside us so we can hear them that's very important shravanam is very important and after that we need to go to our office or to our uh, business wherever 
or to our school or to our college and do our duties and when we are inside the material world which means when we are mingling with the normal people the mundane people we have to ensure that we only associate with those people who help us to become better individuals we stay away from people who are gossiping we stay away from people who are discussing about who is having an affair with whom or they are discussing about the private parts of the opposite sex yes <laughs> or what couples are doing where they are going for honeymoon where they are going for enjoying yes how how people are destroying their lives by uh, drinking wine yes by doing uh, by visiting prostitutes by in indulging in multiple relationships yes so if uh, if we see that there are people who are discussing all this uh, useless rubbish wasteful garbage of this world then we need to ensure that we guard our ears and we do not associate with them okay and then evening when we come back we again if we have time we can chant the mantras which we chant in the evening and we can again read the scriptures and then we can uh, while going uh, in the bus or train we can uh, put audio tapes we can put kirtans inside we can put our we can put lectures of our gurus and then we can hear them by that we will understand the philosophy of what god actually is and how things work in this world and then we will develop divine wisdom by the grace of our guru and god and in the weekends we can visit uh, satsang centers we can visit spiritual centers which are nearby our city town village wherever you are and then we can also visit different festivals like janmashtami is coming on 2nd or 3rd september i guess depending on the place where you stay and then there is balram jayanti is there then so many festivals are there ram navmi is there narsing chaturdashi is there radhashtami is there yes so many and there are birthdays of different acharyas ramanujacharya's birthday yes madhvacharya's birthday from uh, ramanujacharya is from the shri vaishnav tradition which is very prominent in the southern part of india and then we should eat very nice food freshly cooked food preferably without meat and if you can avoid onion and garlic that is very good if you cannot avoid that's okay but at least try to uh, stay away from meat if you are eating try to reduce it gradually you will give it up one day when you keep chanting the mantras and then when you are with your laptop you can install the k9 software k9 web protection so that it will block all unnecessary access to pornographic material and adult material because the more you are indulging in all those things the more it will degrade your consciousness and you will not be able to see the higher fulfillment which the ninth house promises okay and then ultimately meet your guru and meet your god brothers and then cultivate spiritual wisdom inside your family with your wife with your husband with your children with your parents with your mother in law with your father in law with your uncle with your aunt with your neighbors <laughs> all right discuss about spirituality rather than discussing about big boss or rather than watching game of thrones or rather than watching cricket football all the useless activities yes watching debate shows of so many news anchors such a waste of time my god all right so we can use this valuable human life which god has given us among the 8.4 million species 84 lakh yoni so many yonis are there <laughs> but we are fortunate to get this human body all right so let us use this properly and then let us cultivate spiritual wisdom as the shrimad bhagavatam uh, as the uh, vedanta sutra says athato brahma jigyasa therefore you enquire about spirituality enquire about divine wisdom all right and then ultimately by our prayers we will be saved and then the ninth house will open and even if we are a pauper we are sitting in the streets which i hope none of you are because you are watching this video that means you have a laptop or a mobile you are reasonably well to do i would say you, you may not have good money but at least if you are watching this video i i will imagine that you are at least having that much money to eat and survive in this world okay so even if you don't have anything but we will still be happy inside okay and when we are happy then we can definitely say that ninth house is the house of luck fortune and goodness greatness all the beautiful things are there in the ninth house even if they it is badly placed 
from the second fourth and the tenth house all right so there you go if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want to know how the ninth house is functioning in your chart and how the planets will behave and how to improve your spiritual life then you can go to my website to book a reading and there you go god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you